morning viewers, this is Geomeister007 here with another Minecraft tutorial, and in this video I will be showing you how to make your very own sugarcane farm using robots, aka slime block flying machines. But anyway, so this is how it works. There is a two-way flying slime block flying machine made by Cube Hamster. Um, I highly recommend you checking out his channel if you like slime block contraptions and the link to that and also his video where he made this will be in the description. So it uses a hopper minecart system to make this completely lossless, sugar cane, water, a wall, the slime block flying machine, and then this little system that I made which will reverse the slime block flying machine, like so. Yeah, so basically, that's all that there is. So now, onto the tutorial. First step is to find out how much sugar cane you want to plant, and if you want your farm to be double-sided or single-sided. So if you want it to be double-sided, you get the amount of sugar cane that you want to plant and divide that by two and dig a trench that many blocks long. If you want to be single sided, find out how much sugar cane you want to plant and then dig out a trench that many blocks long. So then just fill up in that trench with water. This can be done using only one bucket as long as you have a nearby infinite water source. Okay, so now that you have this, you're going to want to build a wall. So, I know this is a monster egg, but I'm using it anyway. Make a wall three blocks tall. And you may have noticed that one of these blocks isn't covering the water. This is necessary if you want this farm to be completely lossless. So, just fill in the wall like this. Okay, now you have your wall. So what you're going to want to do is on top of it, place a movable object, so you can use obsidian, no blocks, but you're probably going to want to use furnaces because those are the easiest movable objects to get, well, in my opinion. So just make a wall of or a line of furnaces on top of your wall, like this, and then your wall is completely finished. Next you're going to want to plant the sugar cane. Okay, so one thing you're going to notice with this farm is that when you're planting the sugar cane, you won't be able to plant anything there. That's how it's supposed to be. Just letting you know that now. Okay, so short disclaimer, before making the turnaround modules that I have in the tutorial, just know that after the making of this video, I discovered that all you have to do is place an immovable object on up there and then it will cause the flying machine to automatically turn around um i just want to let you know that so that way it could save you a lot of time and if you want to see how to make this turnaround contraption that i made you are still welcome to do so but if you don't uh look at the screen right now for the time to skip to okay thank you and continue watching. So now what you're going to want to do is go five blocks from this third block of the wall right here. One, two, three, four, five, and then go out two blocks on each side. You're going to also want to do this on the other side. Okay, from this side, you're going to want to get stone slabs and just make a little three by three square and then do that on all sides and then you can destroy the teeth. Okay, so now that you have your 3x3 three three squares at this level, first you're going to want to place <coughs> a redstone repeater in the far left corner if you're at this position closest to the wall. And set this to 4 ticks. If you're in this position, far right corner, just basically the corner closest to the wall, and do that on all the pieces. Okay, so next you're going to want to place a dropper, like this on all the pieces like that. Okay. 
Okay, so now that you have your dropper, you're going to want to place a hopper going into it. And just to make sure the hopper is going into it, place a wooden sword. Uh, as you can see, the wooden sword is already in the dropper for me because, well, I control middle clicked it. But in survival, just place a wooden sword into each hopper. Okay, so now that you have that going for you, get a redstone comparator outside of the hopper, like this, on all sides. Now just hook the back of this redstone comparator into a block with a repeater going out of it, with redstone in front of it, a block like this, and then redstone, and do this on all the sides yet again. Okay, so now that you have that done, that's pretty much the whole turning around system. So you have two parts left, the hopper minecart collection system and the flying machine. So I'm going to be starting off with the flying machine. Okay, so now the next part is the flying machine. So you're just going to want to place a sticky piston facing up on the third block level. Now place a slime block with sticky pistons going out on either side of it, and place a half slab on top of the slime block. Now just place <coughs> uh, some slime blocks on the side of these sticky pistons, and then place blocks of redstone on each side, and then go out three blocks and place a temporary block with a piston off of it. You can do this with any block because it's just a temporary block, like this. And then just place a block of redstone here, and give one side a block update. And then you can destroy that if you feel like it. Actually, yeah, destroy this. Okay. So as you can see, this will go back and forth, and now just do the same thing on the other side. I won't be doing that because, well, now that you know how to do this, you can do it on the other side. And two, I'm trying to keep this short and simple. So, now what you're going to want to do is rig up the hopper minecart system. So to do that, you're going to want to have normal rails and powered rails, and that's pretty much it. So here, dig down some blocks like this, two blocks to be specific, and just dig a little trench the length of this wall. Okay, so now that you have the trench on this side, you're going to want to do the same thing over here underneath the sugar cane, but be sure not to break this. Okay, so now that you have your trench, you're going to want to actually set up the rail system. So basically what you're going to want to do is just do something a little bit like this and then every now and then have powered rails. And you can put the powered rails next to each other like this. And now just fill in the rest with the rails. Okay, now that you have all the rails in, before you place the minecart down, you're going to want to make sure that the powered rails are powered. So to do this, I'm going to be placing uh, levers underneath the powered rails. Okay, so now that you're at this point, before you fill this up with uh, normal dirt, and then <clears throat> um, just place your hopper minecart down, you're going to want to make sure that this goes into a chest. So pick a side that you want the chest to be on. I'm going to be placing it right here. So dig down three blocks, like so, and then get a chest and some hoppers. Okay, now that you have your chest and hoppers, just place your chest like this. Um, break some of the blocks with the rails underneath it, like this. 
I'm going to be replacing six of the blocks with hoppers and have them running into the double chest like so. You can use a singular chest, but if you're going to be using this farm, you might want to have a double chest because after a while, well not even a while, it won't take that long for a single chest to be filled up by this farm. So now that you have that ready, you can now put your hopper minecart down and fill this in with grass and then do the same thing on the other side. So now you are completely done with the farm. So keep in mind if you want this to be double sided, just do what I did here with the slime block flying machine and also the upper minecart system underneath here. And so that's pretty much it. Um, so now I'm going to show you how well this actually works. So if I forgot to mention this earlier, this farm is completely lossless. The reason is because this extra little wall piece here prevents any sugar cane from landing here where the hopper minecarts can't pick it up. And because of the way the flying machine is positioned, whenever something will grow, it will just drop on either this block or this block which is where the hopper minecart is and so because of that it will easily get picked up distributed into the chest and yeah it's basically lossless and if you're thinking about um the sugar cane going on up onto the wall because the wall is four blocks tall that won't happen <clears throat> so yeah that's it for the tutorial i hope you enjoyed and if this helps you out, goodbye.